I lost over 90 pounds of fat in just 9 months. No drugs, no pills, no gimmicks. 100% naturally. With some focus and willpower of course, but how did I do it? Let me explain. What's up guys, this is my weight loss journey, my weight loss transformation, my weight loss story. Let's get right into it. So some backstory on me, right? First of all, my name is Thompson. Basically all my life I've been overweight. I always played football, football was my sport. I mean, I dabbled in basketball every now and again, but my jump shot not wet like that. Football mainly, and I was a defensive and offensive lineman, so they always encouraged us to have some extra weight on us, you know? So we have a solid base so we don't get moved around a lot. And it worked for me because I was always a bigger kid. I played football up until university. My first year in university, I actually got injured and then I couldn't play football anymore for like a year. And I decided to just stop playing football altogether. That's kind of when the weight gain went from bad to worse. Because yes, football allowed me to have that solid base of weightlifting and being in the gym and building some muscle, you know, underneath the fat, even though there's still fat, you know. It took away my reason for going to the gym because all my life, my workouts had been based around being in shape for football season, getting bigger for football season, getting stronger for football season. Season, being a better athlete and now that I didn't have that I didn't have a reason to actually be in the gym and you combine that with the new job that I had gotten after I stopped playing football which was club promoting so I was in the club every weekend drinking even on weekdays drinking um, partying being up late at night eating at all times of the night you know however much I wanted whenever I wanted um, and there was really no there was really no schedule or rules to you know, how and when I was eating and during football season, I was around 255, 265, then 270. And then by the time I had stopped playing football for a year, I had ballooned up to 286 pounds. Now, mind you, I'm 6'2", 6'3", so we'll go with 6'3", for the girls. But 286 pounds is overweight for that height. No matter how you want to slice it and dice it and, you know, say that I got muscle on me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's fat, okay? Like, there's a lot of fat in the 286 pounds. And for, for about a year span, I was around 286 pounds, not even realizing how overweight I was. I just kind of enjoyed my life and never really thought twice about it. And, um, you know, I know a lot of people have like this big, huge moment that they realize, you know, uh, they hit rock bottom and they realize they got to change their lives. But for, for me, it was just looking in the mirror and saying, I'm not the best version of myself, you know, for my goals and aspirations and, you know, talking to people and being in front of people and being as outgoing as I am, I don't look my best, you know, but I wanted to make an actual change. I didn't just want to talk about making a change. And so I decided I was going to lose the weight. I didn't just I just want to lose 10 pounds. I didn't just want to lose 30 pounds. I wanted to lose all the weight that I had ever put on from playing football, from just neglecting myself. I wanted to be at a healthy body mass index BMI for my height and weight, which is 6'3". And so in wanting to put all of my energy solely in the transformation that I was gonna make, I decided I wasn't gonna be on social media at all throughout my weight loss progress. I was gonna cut off social media and that was around March 5th, something like that. I made my last Instagram skit video. For those of you who don't know, I, do, I did comedic Instagram videos and stuff like that. I made my last Instagram skit video and then I said, you know what? After this, it's weight loss time. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm not gonna focus my energy on anything else but those weight loss. I don't even want people to see me until I've lost the weight, right? And so I started doing some research on different weight loss methods and then I came across fasting. There's different types of fasting, intermittent fasting, alternate day fasting, but the one I found the most interesting was prolonged fasting. I watched videos of people lose extreme amounts of weight in a short period just literally by not eating. And I mean like not eating, like they just fasted and drank water. And so I was like, man, if these people can do it and they're just regular people, why don't I try it for my weight loss? Cause I'm all about finding the most efficient way to do something. I don't like to do something blindly and you know, try to figure things out and make mistakes then. I like to learn from other people's mistakes and then that way I start off with an advantage. So I just jumped right into it. I started fasting and the first two days, I won't lie, they, they were kind of strange because I had never not eaten before. Um, 
you know, and to not actually eat for a whole day was like, actual hunger wasn't as bad as the psychological hunger because you get into these eating routines and then it's like, as your day's going on, your, your body's like, wait, we're not eating at this point. What's going on? Like, you just kind of feel out of a, out of a rut, you know, you kind of feel off. And that was probably the strangest part for me. The first 72 hours were like that. So the first three days, but after that, it became pretty, pretty easy. I won't even lie to you. It was shockingly easy actually, because I started to get into a routine. I started to be able to film that extra time that I would spend on preparing food, eating food, thinking about food. You'd be surprised how much time you spend just thinking about what you're about to eat or what you want to eat. Um, and I, all that extra time that I built up, I started filling it by doing other things and keeping myself busy. And I just became a task warrior. And once I fell into that routine, believe it or not, I went 23 days without any food or any calories. And that means no caloric sweeteners, no teas, no juices, no calories, nothing, just water. And um, the only reason I stopped actually is because after, at around day 20, 21, I started to feel nauseous and I, I started to throw up my stomach bile just because my stomach was so empty, right? I don't, I, I'm not really sure exactly what was going on, but my stomach was so empty and my body was in ketosis for so long. For those of you who don't know, ketosis is, is, when, is when your body switches uh, to burning your fat stores as energy. I started to uh, j just develop some symptoms for being in such deep ketosis. I think it was just so uncomfortable that I was like, you know what? I have to stop this fast. Uh, at this point I had lost 40 pounds. And so I was pretty proud of myself. I said, let me just stop this fast. Let me eat something let me get back to normal first. And then we'll re re reassess where we are um, and how much more fasting we want to do. So I broke my fast at 245 pounds. I had started my fast at 286 pounds. 23 days gone, 40 pounds gone. Like it was ridiculous. A lot of people break their fast with watermelon. I actually love eggs and ketchup. Um, first of all, ketchup belongs on eggs. Those of you who don't think so have a serious problem, but that's a whole nother topic for another day. I had like three scrambled eggs and I put some ketchup on it. And when I say that was the most amazing thing I've ever tasted, like I could taste every grain of salt and like seasoning that was in those eggs. I could taste everything that went into making that ketchup. I could tell you how much of each ingredient they put in every teaspoon of ketchup. Like it's an experience I can't even describe it to you, you just have to experience it for yourself. Like after not eating for 23 days, that food tasted unreal. So I tried to increase my eating by about like one egg or like one piece of bacon per day. I was mostly only eating eggs and bacon uh, to try to stay and keep the ketosis going. And so that lasted about a week and a half. And, and throughout that time, I was basically doing OMAD, right? I would eat the one meal at like 4 p.m., 6 p.m. or whatever, and then I wouldn't eat until 6 p.m. the next day. And uh, so I would basically do like a 24 hour fast each day. And my one meal would be my meal for the entire day. And I was still losing weight, losing about 0.5 of a pound a day. Like I still a good rate, right? Like, uh, but because I was eating less than a thousand calories. And for me, my maintenance is about like 2,400. That week and a half passed, I said, you know what? As much as that prolonged fast was great, I need to build a routine, right? I can't just prolonged fast and use it as a quick fix, right? Like a band-aid. I need to uh, find a way to get good eating habits, right? So I decided to build a fasting routine. And this fasting routine consisted of 72. So I would eat uh, one day and then I wouldn't eat for the next three days. I would fast for the next three days, right? And only drink water. Um, for example, I would eat on Monday in the morning, right? Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I would fast. And I would schedule my eating days around if I knew I was gonna go out. So for example, if I know I'm gonna go out on a Saturday, I'll schedule my 72 so that my eating day lands on the Saturday. And then when the Saturday comes, I, I can go out and I can enjoy myself. I can I can have a drink with my friends and I can eat some like some carbs. Oh my God, like carbs, right? Even if I eat some carbs on that, on that day, on the week, in terms of uh, caloric intake, I'm still at a massive deficit, right? There was even some weeks where I would eat on Wednesday and then I would, I wouldn't eat again until the Friday and the Saturday because I knew I was going out both of those days, right? And that worked perfect for me. I was still losing weight and I was starting to get back into the groove of seeing my friends because throughout the prolonged fast, I wasn't really 
Throughout the prolonged fast, I wasn't really going out. I wasn't really seeing friends. I was kind of just cooped up in the house because I didn't really have much energy to do much else. I still hadn't posted on Instagram or, or any social media at this point. I, I was just keep, kind of keeping the weight loss in wraps. And then the people who saw me were realizing that I lost a, a good amount of weight. Other than that, nobody really knew. So that went on from about May to about September. And then Sept by September, I had pretty much hit my goal weight. I was around 204 pounds, but then a different journey started because now I wanted to transform my body. Um, I was at a good weight, but I didn't look good. You know, I was still flabby, you know, it wasn't a solid 204 pounds. And, and still, I wanted to be under 200. I started getting back in the gym and lifting weights, but I wanted to do it differently this time. I started incorporating full body workouts in which I will do a video on my full body workout routine. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to get too deep into that right now. I started incorporating full body workouts into my uh, workout routine uh, along with my fasting, uh, my fasting routine, which had kind of tapered down into more 48s and 72s every so often. Oh, I farted again. I, would, I had started reshaping my body and, and kind of building core and building, you know, build, just building a solid base underneath, you know, my leaner physique. And, you know, I started to see major results from, from about September to December. I kind of stuck to that routine of doing 48s and 72s of, of, of fasting. And I, I would generally work out on the days that I eat. But even there was a lot of days where I didn't eat and I would still go to the gym and, uh, and do my, my workout routine. And so that worked perfectly for me. You know, I started to incorporate being able to go out more, scheduling my eating days around around the days that I knew I would be going out or I'd potentially be going out. And um, I was still able to lose weight while enjoying my life. And it was it was amazing. You know, the days that I had more control over my week, I would fast those days. And, and the amazing part is I would get so much done on those days because I didn't worry about food. I was 200 pounds exactly. And I felt like my physique was where it, 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 it should be for 200 pounds. It looked good, right? And I decided to come back to social media. And of course, all my friends were shocked. Oh my God, like, how did you do this? This is amazing. You lost so much weight. You look like a different person, blah, 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 blah. That's all like, that's all me reaping the benefits of, you know, what I did. But the hard work was behind the scenes. So for right now, where I'm at right now, this morning when I woke up, I was 195. And uh, my goals right now is to get to 185 and to be like absolutely shredded. Um, and just like have at veins in the in the gut and like, but and I'm gonna bring you guys along on that journey too as well. For more content on weight loss, fasting, fitness, and how to be the best version of you, hit subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell. Go ahead and watch the next video I got for you. And as always, thanks for watching.